Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Danielle, AKA Stitcherista here on YouTube. And today is actually going to be a product review of an art dot diamond painting. So if you have watched my channel for quite some time, you know that I really stopped doing product reviews a while ago and uh, art dot had contacted me and I said, you know what? Okay. They were very nice. And so today I received this in the mail from them. This is the diamond painting kit that they sent me. Um, Art Dot is a company that's located in Hong Kong. They have a one year warranty on all of their products. They only have two diamond paintings on their site right now. And then they have diamond painting stickers, but they have a lot of accessories. They sell a lot of like the containers to hold diamonds. They have a light pad. They also have like the portfolio book that a bunch of YouTubers have reviewed. So I will link their website down below, of course. And I even have an affiliate link, but I'm really not worried about that. I will link their website there for you to check it out. So already I have to say, I am impressed that this came in a tube. I, I like the tubes and I feel like it also protects the diamond painting from getting banged up or anything or damaged. So let's go ahead and just open this up. Now, when you go on their website too, if you notice here, they have three different sizes. They have beginner, advanced, and pro. Each size is a different size, which means the bigger it is, the more diamonds it has. Obviously, I mean, the more detailed it would be, right? So let's, trying to get the lid off. <laughs> let's open this up and see what is included. Okay, so when I took it out, it looks like this. So everything is wrapped up. So they do provide an inventory sheet with all of the labels. Now it does not have the number of colors. So right away you would have to count to see how many colors. Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 22, 23, 36 colors. This is a 26 by 13 and it is round diamonds. And the count is 27,378 diamonds. I love the butterflies and the rainbow. I absolutely love the picture. So there is the bigger image. So you do get that. Here are the diamonds. There is an AB diamond in here. Two of them. You can see, I'm not going to take these out of the package, but this is an AB diamond right here. And then there's a yellow one. Okay. Here's the accessory kit. So let's take a peek and see what is in there. It is not a Ziploc bag. It is, um, I feel like that was supposed to be like stickered down. It wasn't, but you can see they like had a sticker on it to close it. Okay, so in the toolkit, you receive a tray, whoopsie, a tray which has a little lip. See how they had the pen stuck in there? That's kind of cool. So you could stick your pen in there, a grippy, and this tray is a little different. I mean, it's pretty small, but it looks like it's very nice and ridged and all of that. I keep dropping things. And then you also get some washi tape, which is, this one is very pretty. I love that one. And then you get some wax. And then you also, it looks like these are two diamond painting stickers. Okay. Now I may open up one of the diamonds because I want to see, 
Are they staticky? How do they come out of the bag? You know, that kind of thing. But let's take a look at the canvas. So the back of the canvas is pretty soft. This canvas is pretty pliable, which I absolutely love that. So this is the way that I would diamond paint it. I would diamond paint it um, this way. And you could actually hang this when you're done this way or this way. I mean, you could do it either way. But the symbols are right side up this way. So you can see they also have the key here on the left and the key here on the right. Now, one of the things that I am very particular about when I unbox a kit or looking for quality in a diamond painting kit is the stickiness of the canvas. So what's nice is you can tell this is poured glue because there's a clear cover over it. Um, Double-sided adhesive has the white like release paper on it. All right, so I'm going to peel this back and we're going to see how sticky is the canvas. Wow, that's really sticky. I'm impressed by that. That is very, very sticky. Okay. And the image seems to be very clear. Let me see how the symbols look very, very clear. What I should do is take this over, and I think I will. I'm going to take this over to my light pad and put this on top of the light pad. And I will flip the camera around and show you guys how clear the symbols are under a light. They look really, really clear. All, I mean, just by glancing at it. If you look really close, they look pretty clear, right? And like I said, I loved this kit because of the rainbow ombre effect that it sort of has. All right. So let's open one of the packs of diamonds just to see, and I'm gonna pour it into the tray so we can see how they come out. And I'm gonna shake some of the diamonds and try to line them up in the tray and we're gonna see how that's gonna to go too. I have to say, this is one of the smallest diamond painting trays I've ever had, it's very cute. It's in the palm of my hand. Most trays are like this size. I mean, this is pretty small too, but um, yeah. Okay. Let's just, we're going to cut, I'm going to pull out Okay, so this is number 19. Well, they do label the bags numerically. And this is, it says 815 is the DMC code. So this is symbol T. Okay. Now, what I would have to do is, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay. So you guys know I use the credenza for diamond painting, and my trays are numbered one through 60. So this bag, even though the, uh, they're not numbered on here, like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This bag, see how it says 19? It is the 19th color on this key. So you could, I could, when I kit up with my credenza, make sure I put one in the tray for one, two in the tray for two, and then I would just have to probably number this and then it would coincide. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like I would have to write, you know, one, two, three, four, five next to this because they are numbered. They go to nine and then they're symbols, they're letters. So, but yeah, it's great that they label the bags like that. All right, so we're gonna cut open this bag. 
I'm going to cut it open so I can put the diamonds back because I will not be diamond painting this right now. I'm still working on another one. But let's see how they come out. And I know this is not representative of every color, right? Like staticky and all that. Okay, it came out of the bag pretty good. I mean, there are a couple left in there, but that usually happens. So. Yeah, I mean, take a peek at that. They line up pretty good in the tray. I really love this tray. I'm, yeah. Okay. All right, so the last step that I'm going to do is I'm going to take it over to my light pad and we're going to see how good it looks on the light pad when you're actually going to diamond paint it. So pause and I'm going to flip you around. Okay, so I have the diamond painting on my light pad. I'm going to turn on the light pad. Very nice and clear. I would say it is not absolutely crystal clear. And in the corner here, there may be a little bit of trouble seeing what the symbols are. So that's something they could improve on. But there are many, many spaces where the symbols are crystal clear. The only ones that really seem to um, give some trouble are these, I'm pretty sure these are the red colors. So that's the only issue that I really see. And I don't know if the bigger size that you get, if that is different, do you know what I mean? But overall, very pleased with this kit, but yeah. Okay, guys, like I said, I will link their website down below so you can check out their website for yourself. They have some amazing accessories. I thumbed through the website for a few minutes before doing this video and the containers that they have to store your diamonds and organize them. They have some really neat looking ones. And then of course the portfolio book to hold your diamond paintings. So as always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.